In a previous video I experimented with JavaFX on the Raspberry Pi. The performance of the app slows down if you add too many notes to the screen. In this video I compare the performance difference between adding notes to the application or drawing on the canvas. For this demo I prepared a gbang script, a little uh, a single file application that you can execute with gbang containing a Java VIX demo application. At the beginning of the code you decide which test you want to run. Either it's a 1 to test notes or it's a 2 to test it with the canvas. And then you can see that when the application starts it requests the demo and then depending on the type that you defined it either returns a pane which will contain balls as nodes or we return the canvas which is bound to the size of the application um, and then on each tick and we have the ticks here so we try to do a tick every five milliseconds with every tick depending of the test again either nodes are added so we extend the list with children of the pane and add some notes there and then remove them or if it's a canvas we define a drawing a ball drawing at and add it to a list and then uh, we clear the canvas and we draw all the balls so all the balls are a list of drawings and then here you have the two different objects so either it's a ball which is a note which extends from a circle or it's a ball drawing and a ball drawing only has an x a y a size and a fill and that is used by the canvas where do we have it uh, here we have it so uh, we loop through all the balls and we change the color to the one of the ball that we are on and we fill an oval with the given x y and size and that's how this a single file application has the two different uh, tests so you switch between tests by uh, changing this from one to two um, and you run it with gbang so first install a java runtime which has javafx for instance azul zulu has one and you can use sdkman to install these on a linux or a mac system uh, then also install gbang, either get it from gbang.dev or again use sdkman to do, uh, install uh, gbang. And then start this application, first copy it from gist um, and then save it as fx nodes versus canvas.java and then execute it with gbang and the file name. Now let's look at the results if we compare this, uh, so these two different tests on the same machine. This is on a Mac Studio. You see that the number of balls grows uh, similarly on both sides. On 15,000 nodes on the left, we see that it starts slowing down already. On the right, we can go fast now, fast forward to see the difference. On the left, it's almost now completely blocked at 35,000 and on the right we are at 200,000 uh, balls on the screen and now it starts slowing down so we go from a difference from about 20,000 on the left before it starts slowing down and 200,000 on the right. This is on a Raspberry Pi uh, the difference uh, we notice it quite fast here already on thousands nodes on the left it starts slowing down on the right we can uh, add more and more the frame rate is not as stable as on a full PC of course but we see four five thousand on the left is yeah, already critical and we see that the frame rate drops to 10 or even lower while on the right we have twice the frame rate for the same number of elements and again here we will have to do some fast forwarding to see the difference uh, and reach the maximum that we can do with the drawing we're already above 30,000 on the right and still have a frame rate of 3 frames per second and 40,000 and more then it drops really low 
As you can see, the performance of Canvas is much higher. So if you need a lot of visual elements in your JavaFX application, then Canvas is the way to go.